Hello, Bacho. Let's read the question. The question says here, the density of core of a planet is rho 1 and that of the outer shell is rho 2. So, the radii of core and that of the planet are r and 2r respectively. So, gravitational acceleration at the surface of planet is same as at a depth r. Then, value of rho 1 divided by rho 2 is how much? Let's find out. So, to solve this question, we need to find out the gravitational field at the surface and a point at the depth r below the surface. So, equating this, we will get the relation between the densities of the core and of the outer shell. So, from which the required ratio can be calculated. Okay. So, let's draw the diagram. So, consider the core and the outer shell of the planet as shown in the figure. Okay. So, consider the point A, this one, point A on the surface of the planet and the point B at a depth of R. This one, point B at the depth of R. Okay. Below the surface, the acceleration due to gravity at the point A will be the sum of acceleration due to gravity to the outer shell. Okay. So, it will be 2R. Okay. And that due to the core. That is, uh, this one is uh, rho 1. And this one is rho 2. Okay. So, so let M1 be the mass of core m1 to the mass of core and m2 to the mass of outer cell mass of outer cell okay so the acceleration due to gravity at the point a will be the sum of the acceleration due to gravity due to the outer cell and that due to the core that is we can write g a is equals to g m 1 divided by 2 r whole square plus g m 2 divided by 2 r whole square that equals to that implies g a is equals to g m 1 plus g m 2 divided by 4 r Let's take suppose uh, equation 1. Now the acceleration due to gravity at point B will be due to the core only since we can uh, since we know that the gravitational field inside a hollow spherical cell hollow spherical cell is equal to 0. So we have we can write it as GB is equals to GM1 divided by R square. Okay. This is the equation 2. So, according to the question, the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the planet is the same as that at the depth r. So, we have we have here g a is equals to g b. Okay. So, from equation 1 and equation 2, we can write g m 1 divided by Big button gm1 plus gm2 divided by 4r square is equals to gm1 divided by r square from 1 and 2. Okay, so cancelling g by r square from the from both the sides, we have m1 plus m2 divided by is equals to m1 okay so that implies m2 is 3 m1 so we can take it as equation 3 so now since the density of the core is given to be rho 1 this one rho 1 and its radius is equal to r so its mass can be written as m1 is equals to rho 
1 into 4 by 3 by r cube. This is uh, equation 4. Similarly, we can write the mass of the outer shell as m2 is equals to rho 2, this mass of the core, and this is the mass of the outer shell into 4 by 3 by into 2r to the power 3 minus 4 by 3 by r cube. Okay, so that implies m2 is equals to 4 by 3 by r cube into 7 rho 2. This is equation 5. Okay, so putting 4 and 5 in equation 3, we get we can write here. Okay, 4 by 3 by r cube into 7 rho 2 is equals to 3 rho 1 into 4 by 3 pi r cube. Okay. So cancelling 4 by 3 pi r cube from both the sides, we get 7 rho 2 is equal to 3 rho 1. Okay. So finally we will get rho 1 by rho 2 is equal to 7 by 3. Okay. Thus the ratio uh, of P, uh, row 1 by row 2 is 7 by 3. So, solving this, it will, will get 2.3. Okay. So, here option number A is the correct answer. The value of row 1 by row 2 is 2.3. Thank you.